Welcome back to Invention Therapy. Today we're going to be discussing how to design circuit boards in Eagle. The first thing that you'll notice is that we're in a new studio. We're committed to helping you become an inventor. So let's get started by learning how to build circuit boards. Now I'm using a Mac, but it really doesn't matter. The Windows version is exactly the same in Eagle. The first thing you need to do is remember that Eagle uses libraries for all the parts. Now if you don't have an understanding of electronics, that's okay. Because the idea here is to get you used to looking at how circuit boards are made. You can always get on Google and start learning electronics for simple designs that you want to do electronically. For now, we're just giving you an introduction to help you get started. I showed you this library earlier because it is important. We're going to get into it later, but just remember, for every part that you use in a schematic, you're going to need a component library in order for the PCB board to be made. But in the beginning, the first thing you want to do is go New, Schematic. And basically, you get a blank page like you see here. Now don't worry, don't let this intimidate you. It's a lot easier than it looks. In this example, we're gonna be designing a circuit that blinks a light on and off. I haven't done it yet, so I may make a few mistakes along the way. That's the fun of learning. So let's take a look. Because this is a simple lesson just to get you started, I'm gonna be using the libraries that come with Eagle. You go over here to the left to the add button. It's a little component with a plus sign and you click on it and you'll see all these libraries that pop up. What we're interested in is a transistor. So we're just gonna scroll down, they're in alphabetical order, to transistors. And somewhere around here, there it is. And we want an NPN. So we're gonna click on this or open it. We're gonna use the 2N222, which is an NPN transistor. It's one of the most common you can find in the electronics world. And we're going to go down here and we're going to select this one. There's two versions of it. We're just select this one, the first one. Doesn't really matter for this example. And we're going to place it here in our schematic. The origin is down here. You can just kind of place it anywhere you want. And we're going to need two of these. So we'll just put another one down and then hit escape. And now our library pops back up. The next thing we're going to need is a couple of resistors. So we'll just close out of these and we'll look for resistors. And we have a bunch of choices. And I'm just going to find the US resistors, American symbol, and here we are. And we have all kinds of choices. And this is the problem with libraries. If you look over to the right here, you will see that we have a component that is the schematic symbol, but we also have this thing here in the library, and that's the package. That's what's actually going to be put on your circuit board to mount the component. For this particular example, I would like to find through-hole. I wouldn't normally design with through-hole components. They're basically components that have wires that go through the board. Nowadays, we use what's called surface mount components, but in this lesson, I'm going to keep it simple and show you how it was done the old school way. Go back to add, and we're gonna come down to resistors, and we're gonna look for resistors American. Interestingly enough, you can see the capacitors are in here too, and we're gonna need those. But there's the US, and we're gonna select this 20710. So we just hit okay. We're gonna need one of those, and we'll hit escape. And we're also gonna need a capacitor so let's go back and find a capacitor we're going to need a polarized capacitor again this is just a simple example to get you started so it doesn't really matter what kind of capacitor we choose but I'm going to pick one that's just a generic common capacitor and here's a five millimeter I'm going to go with a six millimeter we'll just select that one hit OK and we're going to add it now there's one last thing we're going to need and hopefully we can find it pretty simply. I've added a few other libraries here. So I've added the SparkFun and the Adafruit 
hopefully Adafruit has what I'm looking for. So we'll go Adafruit. We're gonna look for an LED. That's the light that we're gonna blink on and off. If you don't know what an LED is, don't worry about that. It's just, we're trying to teach you. Here's a five millimeter and we'll go for that one. And there you have it. Now, because so many of the viewers have jokingly complained about these videos actually running longer than five minutes, I'm gonna to try to keep them short. We haven't completed our schematic yet, but there's been a lot of information in this video that you need to look at and go back and start playing with Eagle to get an understanding of how the libraries work. We're, again, we're not worried about the PCB at this point. We're just worried about the schematic. In the next episodes, I'm gonna show you how to connect the schematic together using wires and also how to add power to our circuit. So hopefully you'll go back and start playing with this schematic and start adding components of your own. This will help you so that you understand in the next episode. For now, have fun, start learning Eagle, and we'll see you soon.